Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how to install Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0 into Windows 10. Actually, it is helpful for uh, BE students of 6M who are doing computer graphic projects and or uh, running OpenGL programs. So, uh, everyone is telling that it will, it will not support Windows 10 and it will not be installed on um, Windows 10. There are latest versions but uh, they won't be supported for uh, OpenGL programs. So, let's go. I am going to show how to set up Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0 into Windows 10. So, go to the browser. First of all, please follow the steps. Then go to the URL www.gangadars.wordpress.com Then go to the projects page. There you will find two links. That means there are two software you need to download. Go to the first link. VS 9.8 Actually it is a big big file so it will uh, showing as there is a problem with the preview so please download click on download button just download it it will take some time please download it then go back again click on second link GLUT just click on download It will download two files. Actually, there are those are zip files. Here, I'm copying that downloaded file into the one folder which called Visual Basics. Keep those two files in one folder. These are in zip and RAR format. So to extract these, you need WinRAR in your system. If you don't have in, if you don't have in your system, please download from the Google. Click on Visual Basics 6.0. Click Extract to. You can set the path where you want to extract those files. I am setting there in G Drive. Wherever you want, you can set there. Click on OK. Actually, it is a big file. So, it will take some time to extract all the files of Visual Basic 6.0. Please be patient and wait until it completed.
until it completes to 100% please be wait Yeah, it's completed. Next, click on GLUT zip file, click extract to. You can give the same path, click OK. It's also completed. Then follow the steps which I'm going to show here carefully. Go to the Visual Basics folder there. There. Go to Keep it one window as Visual Basics and open GLUT in another window because you can you have to manipulate some operations there so it will be easy to handle that. So here copy glut.h file from glut folder then go to visual basics folder there go to vc98 folder then go to include include file then go to gl folder here copy that glut.h file sorry paste it then go back again go to the glut folder copy glut32.lib then go to again visual basics folder there go to lib folder Here copy sorry paste it paste that lib file again go to that glt folder copy that glt32 dot dll file and go to the c drive and then go to windows folder here yeah, go to system32 folder there will be some folder like system32 go to that so then paste that glut32.dll then click on continue it will be pasted here then and that glut32.dll file also pasted here as in this page also that means common go to common then ms dev 98 go to that then bin paste here also that file glut32.dll file pasted here also then go to msdev.exe click on that go to file click on new then here also go to files c++ source file click on that here i have some code i will copy and paste it here save it as dot cpp extension
then compile it Uh, zero error and one warning. Neglect that wa warning. Next, click on build. Zero error now. <coughs> click on execute. You will get the output. This is the flag program actually. But if you get any error, then proceed to next. Otherwise, that will be enough. If you get like error like error spawning cl.exe or link.exe, if you get like this, then follow these steps. Go to tools, then options. Here, go to directories. Here, there is show directories for include files. So, you need to set the path here. Actually, they, if you uh, there is wrong path selected it will give an error like that so you need to set the path go to the visual basics folder go to then vc98 then bin sorry in include and copy that path address for include files you need to go to include there paste that address path address i already did so then click on ok then go to tools again options here change include files for executable files then go to visual basic folder there go here go to common then msdev98 then bin actually it sorry I don't vc98 go to bin here it contains actually dot exe file files so copy this address copy this path address there it concerns cl.exe and link.exe now so it is giving error uh, if it path not setted so paste that path address here Click on OK. Then again go to tools. You need to perform for three types of files. One is executable files, include files and library files. So go to tools again. Then options. Here change it for library files. Here go to lib folder that means library then copy that path address ctrl c then paste it then click on ok then now we compile and build it it will give zero error now execute it you will get the output so please subscribe my channel thank you